Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I want to talk you through the short squeeze that we saw last night on the Bitcoin chart, the sideways range that this has now left us in and where we are likely to trade to into the coming weeks. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. Sit back with a pina colada, sit back with a cup of tea, with, a, with a whatever you want, but basically you want to be relaxed for this video and ready to be taking some notes and soaking in the information that I'm going to be sharing with you because it's going to be once again just absolutely lovely for the educational side you're going to learn a lot as well as understand how i'm trading this hope you enjoy let's just go into the chart straight away so you all know you all know you've been following me now for a long time we've been inside of this channel for for over a month now and it's just been perfection in terms of trading it's given us so many so many nice trades you know it's really been a, just a literal gold mine longing the lows shorting the highs equilibrium of the range the monthly okay case so the monthly is obviously offering us a resistance slash support what happened yesterday Oof, really really nice indeed we had the you know we had these sort of rejections off the older the old bottom of the channel which is still in play at the moment by the way you know we obviously then come down to around this weekly before getting a flush to the downside this is where things got absolutely lovely. Flush to the downside, which ended with the long lower wick. Okay, so the long bullish lower wick, you know, front run of the monthly. So there's a few bullish signs here already, isn't there? Front run of the monthly, long bullish lower wick. But I've seen on the cake, and this is what I call the formula for a short squeeze or, or the recipe when you're baking the cake. This is what you need to get the short squeeze. You saw massively increasing shorts. Uh, so obviously, I, I, I was making you aware of this on Twitter as well yesterday that, you know, Bitcoin generally destroys the traders late to a move. One must take a calculated risk and enter a position before the majority pile in. This is obviously why we were sat around 9480 even. And, you know, this is the statistic that you need to be watching here. 50 million shorts, 50 million shorts opening at the lows. OK, so. What does this tell you? This, this for me is screaming at me, it's absolutely screaming at me. This is obviously while we're down here. Price has reached support. Okay, support you do not short. You do not short supports until the support is lost. Um, you know, it's just crazy. Anybody shorting here deserves, in my opinion, deserves to lose money because you're getting way too aggressive at support. There's obviously times, and get, don't get me wrong, there's times when you should be shorting support, e.g. consolidation over support. There's times when you should be shorting, you know, longing into resistance, consolidation under resistance. There's times and places for that if you know what you're doing in trading. Never blindly short supports, never blindly long resistances. It's, it's a formula to lose money 100% get absolutely direct and destroyed in trading and that is exactly what happened yesterday all the formula was coming together for this short squeeze obviously it played out absolutely lovely it played out but really you know what are a few of the factors okay a few of the factors that we're looking at here firstly uh the, the market structure you, you you basically because of the way that you came down here pretty fast there was what i referred to as like the last line of defense for the for the for the bears to defend and that was really nine thousand five hundred and thirty seven dollars as soon as you really broke that that's where you know it was just a flush move to the upside really 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 quick with a brief brief pullback at nine five fifty five so you had like that was like, like literally a, you know a few minute pullback but um you know for the, the majority you can see here on the 15 minute chart you basically just go everything through butter as soon as you really took this night like nine through nine five three seven level just went through everything and uh, you know straight up to this you know basically nine thousand eight hundred and fifty a lovely 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 short squeeze um you know and basically yeah, exactly like <laughs> you know people were getting in on this it was absolutely there the recipe um to, to follow. So what were we looking at there? Just to repeat, you know, to, to help you, we were looking at net shorts. We were looking at, you know, we're at support. So really, really simply, you're at support. You know, you, you don't short these support levels. You look to long supports. Um, so you saw just way too aggressive shorts uh, just lining up to get, you know, sent to the slaughterhouse. You also saw the uh imbalances okay so if you want to learn about imbalances i'm doing a live stream on imbalances on wednesday so a contenders live stream on imbalances this for me was a focal point of how you literally could have longed the bottom uh because the balances were there instantly so we had the imbalances and then on top of that you also had you know the, the next shorts you're at support uh and really the market structure market structure being absolutely key the way down the market structure and then the way that you made the higher lows into this flat resistance as well so everything everything lining up there for <laughs> basically the short squeeze the short squeeze happened you know absolutely that happened beautiful 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 
Okay, and uh, you know that then leads us to where we are now. And I think you know it's just so simple, isn't it? It's just so 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 simple. What do we have here? Resistance. Have a guess where the resistance come in. This is obviously our channel, which we've now been trading a long, long, long time. Resistance cannot get back into this at the moment, can you? So resistance off the bottom of the channel. Okay, resistance at the bottom of the channel, resistance at the bottom of the channel, resistance at the bottom of the channel. Okay, dropping down here quickly to weekly support. And you're currently bouncing off a of weekly support. So, I mean, it's clear as day where the range is right now. You know, really obvious resistance, the, the, the bottom of our upper channel and support weekly. Okay, so that, that, that's simply what I'm going to be day trading today. Long and long weekly shorting resistance until we get a proper breakout. And until we can see, you know, using different methods of way, which way it's more likely to break, you know, one would say at the moment it's more likely to be range bound. And then, we, you know, in the bigger term time frames, we can start to think, OK, is this more likely to squeeze up again or is this more likely to actually head back down for a bigger retrace? I mean, on the grand scheme of things, what we have here is is, is, is really simply a sideways range. OK, we're seeing obviously demand coming in around this 9,500 crucial support, um, you know, 9,500. We got that lovely bounce from it, really. And now locally here, we're, we're bouncing off the weekly. So uh, one, would, one would have to view this chart arguably as bullish. OK, so it's an argu arguably a bullish chart. I'm, I'm not, by the way, telling you how to trade this. I'm just going to say really simply what we could look at this chart and say, you know, you could definitely, you know, give a bullish argument here. Really big demand, really big demand every time you get a drop. We know giving a quick rise to the upside. OK, each rise to the upside here locally has been very quick. The, you know, the drawdown is sustained and then you get those quick moves to the upside. Now we're rejecting off the bottom of our upper channel. But we have found once again demand off of this weekly. That was always likely on the first attempt. Um, you know, so now you could really look at this, you know, in a non-biased way. I, I would simply say, you know, this is what I'm interested in, trading this smaller range that we have here. And then maybe if we break down from this range, you get more aggressive on shorts. If you break up from this range, you know, um, look more more aggressively on longs, but really simply trade this sideways range for the time being, or this is what I'm doing anyway. Um, again, not financial advice in this video, <laughs> do whatever you want. But um, you know, that's what I'm gonna be looking at locally here. And then really, um, I acknowledge the bullish and the bearish cases. Obviously, the bearish cases, is this, this is looking like a distribution range. You know, the volume fits distribution. Uh, but on top, you know, really the important thing here is is the demand that's clearly showing around this this month. Obviously, demand can dry up. Let's not forget that. But nevertheless, it's, it's there at the moment. So we, we can trade with the local strength of the longs. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. On the bigger term time frame, one, one definitely could argue that this is a distribution range because that, that's what I believe. Um, you know, the volume is there to back it up. So, um, you know, you have also now squeezed all those shorts. So if you look at these shorts, obviously what you had was nearly 50 million in shorts. You, you took all of them out. So you literally went down from, you know, almost 52 million all the way down to, to 2 million. So you wiped out 50 million shorts were taken out on that. Look at the open interest. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, if you want to know about the theory of like more in depth, okay, so this has obviously been a 10 minute video where my where my live stream last night was from the action starting, talking you all the way through the action and then seeing it actually occur all on live stream. That was like an hour and a half live stream talking you through that action as it was occurring. Uh, you know, these are some of the comments through that. Um, you know, nice to see it, understand. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you know, then you're more than welcome to. Uh, come and watch that live stream, which is obviously the last night's champions live stream on chartchampions.com. You know, you can watch that, um, you know, watch through that live stream. So to see in the moment, because I think this is where the this is where the value is. OK, it's, it's nice for me to talk you through now after it's happened. But imagine actually being able to see that live with me, seeing basically the commentary live as it's happening, exactly what I'm looking for. And as, as, and as well as that, you know, possibly, you know, you could have you could have traded this with me as well, and made some money, which is obviously beautiful to see as well. But, you know, um, you know, that, that's all I'll end with. You know, I've taught you through my opinion on the market. Why? Well, really why that short squeeze happens. Clear as day. You've now learned something from this video. Things to look out for. I've taught you through what I'm actually looking at locally, which is this sideways range. OK, and then how we can get more aggressive on longs if we break out of this sideways range and more aggressive on shorts if we break down from this. Um, you know, but really simply, I'm looking for a sideways range today uh, to be put in here. Uh, after a big move, okay. So I, I like to see, you know, relatively, uh, you know, decline in volatility after a, after a large <laughs> volatile move, okay. So it's like the same, you know, volatile move range, volatile move range, um, you know. So that's what I'm kind of looking for here, you know, this sideways range. So bounce off of the weekly, and here we go. Look at this. There we go. There, there's an, it's still. Okay, there we go. So <laughs> that's why you long weekly support. And I'm going to wrap this up because I want to go and now take profit on that long. There you go. Absolute perfection. There's the bounce as we occurred. I'm going to wrap this up because I literally want to go and take profit. 
you can read through this people absolutely loving the content that i'm giving how can they not people make money with what i give it's absolutely brilliant hope that you have enjoyed this video and i'll catch you in the next one cheers everybody thank you and what a range what we have just seen gonna go lock in profits on that one and have a good one cheers and goodbye bye <laughs>